Adam, you heard what Coach LaFleur had to say there. What can you tell us about this ongoing situation with Rodgers? There is an ongoing debate around the league about what did and didn't happen and whether rules were or weren't followed. And that will be up to the NFL to interpret. But the NFL said yesterday, Laura, that it's looking into the particular situation involving the Green Bay Packers. And we have seen COVID penalties be handed down to the New Orleans Saints, Las Vegas Raiders, Tennessee Titans, Denver Broncos, amongst others. We've seen fines ranging from $350,000 to a half million dollars. We've seen the Saints and Ravens lose late round draft picks. And we don't know what the league will do here, whether or not it will take action. But clearly, there are an awful lot of questions being asked around the league. And there are other teams that are really bothered by this particular situation, in their words, because of all these rules that everybody were following. And they feel like in this particular case, there's a question as to whether the rules were not followed. Yeah, the NFL looking into it, as Adam said there. More from Adam coming as there's a ton of news around the NFL. But Marcus, you just heard the latest from Shefty. You've had 24 hours to think about the situation. What do you make of it all now? Yeah, I, I make of it. I make of it as pissed off swaggle because I had a chance to think about this when we were getting it yesterday. The details and all of that we were trying to get sorted out in meetings and figure out what happened. The bottom line is Aaron Rodgers knew what he was doing. He thought he was being slick. He thought he was. He, he didn't think COVID would hit him and this would be exposed. That's what this boils down to. Dan talked about the availability for your teammates and all of that. He knew that coming into the season. He knew if he wasn't vaccinated um, that he couldn't be available if he came down with COVID-19. But it's the slick talk. And the thing that pissed me off more than anything is we all went crazy when Aaron Rodgers did that opening interview for the season and, and airing out dirty laundry. And now we sit here today with him making misleading statements and trying to fool people. So I point to that. And the reason why I point to that is because sometimes when the slick talk is happening, we need to pay attention to the, the meaning of it as opposed to what's being said. So bottom line is this. Aaron Rodgers misled the media that asked him the question. He compromised and jeopardized his team, being the most important player for his team. He's going to miss a game. He's going to have to come back the day before a game and try to get ready to play that game. And he's not vaccinated, so he may have to deal with this issue again. All of the misleading led to us knowing what the situation is in Green Bay. Is, is this all on Aaron Rodgers, though? That, that, that really is the answer that I want. Is it all on Aaron Rodgers? Because if you go back to the summertime and you think about what the NFL said, they said, whatever you got going on right now and you want us to sign off on it, we're not signing off on it because that's not part of our protocol. We, we, we don't see that as being vaccinated, okay? Then you say, well, the NFL knew that. The Green Bay Packers certainly knew that because the NFL communicated with them. And then Aaron Rodgers knew that because he's part of the Green Bay Packers. So you got all three as a corporate, as far as I'm concerned, involved in this situation. So when you look at it, it's completely reckless. Mm -hmm. It just really is. And the reason that I become a little uh, heated and animated about it is because you got to think about everything else. You got to think about when you were co co covering college football and all of a sudden a little bit of it was lifted and we saw people going crazy. What did we say? They're running around with no mask on. They're, yeah. they're, they're not uh, vaccinated. Are they out of their mind? This is reckless behavior. This is super spread. We was going out of our mind about this. And now here we are with Aaron Rodgers. Matt LaFleur says in the building he's doing everything in the building. What about outside the building? What about walking up to Kyler Murray at the end of that game and talking to Kyler Murray, whispering into his ear, saying something to him? Right there, you putting him in a position to be infected now. I mean, it's just it's pretty wild and crazy to me, and it's reckless. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.